how does it work? So there's two things going on. One is that this drone data, these photos are getting stitched together into a 3D model using a process called photogrammetry, which for a lot of you, um, it seems you are using drones at the moment, you'll be very familiar with this. Um, for those of you who, uh, the 20% of people who aren't using drones, basically when you take overlapping pictures, uh, you're able to create a 3D model out of those, out of those pictures. Um, so basically we have a in-house custom built photogrammetry engine uh, that we created to really be tailored to mining environments. And so that's what we use. Um, and the advantages of that are uh, the things that we've kind of tailored it for are to get very accurate modeling of, of bench faces for one, so that, you know, you pick up things like undercuts and, and roughness on the face. Um, as opposed to those being, you know, smoothed out. Then uh, secondly, the processing time. So a lot of mines that we work with need very fast turnarounds. Uh, for, so we've, we've really optimized this. So for a pit, it's only taking a few hours and you have the data back, you have the model back. And if it's just a single bench, if you're doing something like drilling and blasting, then you can get that back in less than 30 minutes um, to enable you to, you know, to do things in basically real time. And then finally, uh, this one's, you know, not definitely not as, as unique to us, but, uh, we have the, you know, AI automatic detection of ground control points and support for RTK and PPK so that you can get that mine survey grade accuracy that you need, um, when you're working on a mine site. So that's step one is, is basically, uh, building this 3d model out of the drone data. Um, but the interesting thing is what happens at the same time as that in parallel is that we have AI algorithms that run and they analyze the model um, and they generate engineering reports off the back of it. So um, it happens, you know, there's kind of three steps to it. One is you have the AI that's detecting things on these models, things like crest toes, roads, rock edges, uh, all, all these kind of interesting things that form the basis of the operational analysis. Um, then we have that operational analysis steps in that way we can calculate things like high wall angle, whole road grades or particle size distributions, because we know, um, because the AI has detected, you know, what a high wall is, it knows what a whole road is. Um, so we can do a lot of these engineering analyses, uh, you know, in a fully automated way. And then finally, um, because you know, I'm a mining engineer, we're all, we're all working in mining. We know that the, the output has to be a report at the end of the day. It's no good being a, uh, just living alone in a, in a platform that people have to log into. Uh, so everything that comes out of this, uh, ends up in automatically being formatted into a report, um, which is then easy to send out to, to anyone, to a mailing list, which gets remembered every time so that you can just, uh, as, as a stakeholder you're essentially just going to, to just start receiving reports. You don't, you don't, you won't have to log into anything. You won't have to do any analysis. Then most people will just be receiving an email with PDF reports, um, with useful things that will help them do their job better, make better decisions. So that's all recorded indefinitely. So, um, because this is all a, this is a cloud platform. Um, everything is stored in one single location. So it's this single source of truth um, that has the whole history for your site in one place. So you don't need to, you don't need to worry about, you know, hitting a, a data limit or, you know, you don't need to worry about things being stored on someone's hard drive and it not syncing or not being connected. 